Hey guys, I'm in the process of test fitting things here. Wanted to make sure that I could actually install the shroud. And I had to adjust the uh, bottom brackets just a, a tiny bit, like a quarter of an inch uh, on each side. And of course I don't have the radiator in there just yet, but I wanted to see what kind of how many steps I would have to follow in order to get everything installed. I think the uh, trickiest thing is gonna be to hook up the, the air, that, that uh, lower hose onto the radiator, but I'm gonna loop the hell out of it. And again, not having the actuators in here is a tremendous help because even though it's tight, I can always, well, let me remove my, <laughs> screwdriver from that I can always bring that out and actually I can even go further out to um, to drop the radiator in place and that's how I think I'm gonna have to do this I ordered a new seal for the bottom here the old one was okay but it was I, I don't I don't even think they uh, they they installed it properly but whatever I have a new one coming uh, this week. And again, I'm gonna have to shield the new radiator so it doesn't get um, damaged like the veins or anything like that. Also, I'm debating whether I'm gonna polish the, the top um, portion or if I'm gonna spray it black. I'm kind of thinking black it may be better because the, uh, the tanks are gonna be remain kind of polished, which is fine and beautiful. But uh, the centerpiece, I think is gonna be better in, in, in black, maybe a semi-gloss or something like that, or even glossy, just to tie it all in together. So, and I, I'm also thinking about getting a new, I know I keep going back and forth with this thing, a new, um, can't think right now, a new thermostat and go back to the 180 like I had before instead of the 195, I think it is, right now. So I may do that, get a new gasket just to be on the safe side. And that is that, that's the, uh, the latest uh, as of today, Monday. So I have all week ahead of me to, uh, to get this thing kind of installed and, and connected. So I decided to give the, the cross member there a coat of the bed liner. I hope it kind of smooths out a little bit once, it's, once it starts curing. Same thing for the sway bar and a couple of areas there, both sides where I needed to uh, give it a, a better finish it, but they were all like, they had surface rust and um, it was just dirty. So I think it looks pretty, pretty awesome. So I consider all that good progress. And also today, today Monday, I received the, uh, the one by one uh, foam. This is really great, a good product. That's gonna be for the bottom edge of the uh, support. And uh, this is the one that was there. Pretty much the same thing. It's just filthy. I don't think they ever removed the uh, the backing strip, so. But anyway, why not put a, put a new one there? This is from uh, Pro Speaker Parts on eBay. And this thing delivered first class was 1054 for three foot. So that gives me plenty of the foam for the uh, core support. Excellent. I think I've decided I'm gonna paint this black. I was gonna try to polish it, but there's, I don't wanna, I don't wanna do that. By looking at the old radiator, 
can tell that it was it was black. I don't know how much really is visible. Probably just a little portion because you can see almost an outline here where the shroud top used to overlap. So I think we're going to be okay with that, even though this is a little thinner here. This is a good surface for me to use that uh, um, seal, both sides. But anyway, I'm going to clean it up a little bit. I'm going to mask this area. Maybe give it, it's pretty smooth here. There's a couple little imperfections. I'm going to give it a light sanding. And uh, part of it is going to be covered by the uh, snorkel anyway. But uh, yeah, I think it's going to look good. Okay, so as you can see, I have it all masked. And I also did some masking, of course, over here. And I didn't want any oh. <laughs> I didn't want any overspray to um, to go under there, so I sanded it a little bit, and I wiped it down with acetone. So I'm getting ready to uh, to shoot some paint, and I have some of that paint with uh, that that also has primer on it. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to use some of this uh, rust -Oleum. Actually, I already sprayed a little bit, but then I realized I can set up the tripod. Let you guys see what I'm doing here. So, as you saw, I gave it a couple of light coats from a good 10, 15, 15 inches away. And I'm gonna let this dry overnight and see tomorrow if I, if I need to um, coat this again. And not even need to. Looks pretty good. Fortunately, today it got a little warmer. It's been like in the 40s and 50s. And uh, today it got to like 75 or 76 degrees. So right now it's very pleasant here in the garage. But anyway, there you have it. And I'll unmask this, of course, tomorrow, unless I decide to give it a couple more coats. I don't think it's gonna really be necessary. I think it's gonna look awesome. And also getting ready to pre-cut the new um, seal that I got today from um, whatever that car audio place on eBay. So this one, according to my trustee, bench tape measure here is 25 and a half and um that thing is all filthy so i'm gonna measure and pre-cut this one let me set up the tripod for that since you've probably never seen someone cut a piece of foam. I don't know. <laughs> Might as well film all the stuff, right? Back in a sec. Okie doke. So 25 and a half would be right here. One thing I want to do, let me take the old one back to the car and see what it looks like as far as length is concerned because I don't know if this thing shrunk, I doubt it, but let me take a quick look. Well, this, interestingly enough, it's about an inch and a half shorter than the uh, 
support on the way across. So let me, so this is 25 and a half we said. So about 27 would be the right width from one end to the other. So I'm gonna, I can always cut some. As you know, you cannot add to it. Okay. So, oops. Let me try to position this tripod here. I got the. There we go. Ah, that's better. Let me. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's just about right. So, and I think, I don't know if you can see it from there, but I think the radiator butts against this. On this side, it doesn't sit on top. If I'm not mistaken, but uh, before I go sticking this thing though, I'm gonna check online see if someone has mentioned if this goes butted all the all the way against the back or if it goes in the middle, because this lip here is about an inch and a half. So, and this stuff from experience is. The adhesive is pretty, pretty good, so. But anyway, sorry I couldn't show you more, but uh, we'll see what happens. Let me do some research. Hey guys. Well, it's the ne next morning, so let's, this looks really, really fine. So let's unwrap this baby. Righty. The bottom of the rad is black, blacked out. Yeah, I didn't do any sanding or anything like that because this is just, again, to protect the, the uh, radiator. I don't know, just because I think it looked better once it's all Put back together, and this is the top portion. Again, a lot better in black than just that rough aluminum finish. 
Well, I decided to, even though it's not necessary, to plug the uh, automatic transmission uh, holes on the top and bottom. This is where the lines, <coughs> oh, excuse me, where the lines for an automatic transmission connect. And um, while they're not necessary, I have these installed uh, on the other radiator. And I thought, well, might as well reuse them. Again, they're not necessary. And they're far from perfect, but you won't even notice them once this thing is tilted. These are gonna be toward the back. So again, I just, why not, right? So anyway, I, um, I think I'm pretty much done with this project of detailing this thing, getting it ready for first to test fit radiator. I may have to, um, to look at those supports, give them a quick coat of paint just to, there was a little bit of surface rust, so I, I don't want that to, uh, to give that any uh, chance of um, growing. What was I gonna do? Oh, yeah, these things. These are the um, rubber, what do you call these things? Um, insulators, whatever. And these are the bottom ones. So I'm gonna, well, this is the top part. So I'm gonna prop it up, may have to um, do a little trimming here because this is a little more square than the, the original one. So I may have to modify these just a touch. So let me let me do this next. Okay, so I popped the radiator up just a little bit. And I think these fit here. But Kind of the bottom needs a little bit of a you know, almost like a relief cut, but I'm not even sure if that's necessary. If any of you guys has used um, Champion Radiator, you're probably saying either yay or nay, but. Um, I think of anything, just a little bit of a, a little cut here the, at each end might give it a little more room. And it would be very, very, a very tiny cut. So I'm gonna try that next. Okay, you can barely Probably barely see these. But I gave it just a little relief cut on each end. And actually, when I test fit this now, I think it's gonna give it enough. Yeah. Seems to fit a lot better. So anyway, just a little little detail. Let me do the other one and uh, they will be ready for test fitting. One last detail is this drain valve. And this petcock has the, these little wings here, which actually interfere with With this bottom portion, basically you cannot open it without bending the uh, the wings. So 
I'm gonna lift the car again and I may just take the Dremel and notch this portion. That ain't gonna affect anything really. It's just a support. And that hopefully would give me enough clearance to utilize this drain pet cock properly. So let me do that next. And under the car again. I don't know if this is going to work. Oh, and I cannot zoom into this area here. But anyway, this is what I'm trying to do is just cut a little relief here. And this disc is almost gone, so. Cutting disc is gonna have to be replaced, but I'm making good progress with this. Where is this thing? Can't even use this phone right anymore. Anyway, let me finish up and I'll show you the uh, the finished product. Okay, so. Cut most of this thing off. There it is. Little piece here. Hopefully that will give me enough clearance for the petcock. I'm going to grab a file and smooth out these sharp edges and give it a light coat of paint. And that project will be done and hopefully it will allow me to use that, uh, uh, the new petcock. So, should be good. Cool. Okay, so it's done. Use the file to smooth out the edges. And then I give it a light dusting with, with my paint primer. The damn thing kind of drip paint all over my iPhone, so I have to clean that uh, now. But I think it's uh, it's okay, and I hope it works for the uh, intended purpose. Okay, so I conditioned the rubber cushions for the bottom. Um, which are, what you call those things? What you might call it? Those little thingies for the bottom of the radiator. And uh, you can also see my handiwork here where I eliminated that additional portion. So hopefully that'll solve that issue. And I also installed the uh, the lower seal, which I'm pretty sure that's where it, where it goes. So radiator just kind of pushes that in a little bit, sits nicely in here. So next step is going to be to actually grab this bad boy and just do a test fit to see how, how the whole thing looks. Okay, so next I'm gonna remove, I think for good, this Corvette AC condenser holder by IKEA. And that should give me enough <clears throat> room here to, uh, <clears throat> to see how the radiator fits. So that's next. Okay, so here's my little bundle of joy. 
I cut the uh, box apart, added some masking paper to protect the areas that I just painted, and check it out. Both sides, I hope this is gonna be good enough to protect the whole thing. I mean, it's, I think it's gonna be okay. And um, so let's test the thing and see what it looks like. It's not gonna be perfect because of all the cardboard maybe, but I think I left enough room in here to, um, to clear the core support. So let's get busy and do that test fitting.